I'm really annoyed. This part of the game is really ridiculous. At least it gave me a save point, though, so I don't have to do that other stuff. But again. I solved it in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, nobody gives a shit about you, friggin' what's-his-face. I what's solved his face. it in three, two, one seconds. Yeah. Did you ever watch three, two, one Penguins? I don't think so, I don't Oh, it was a it. Christian show, it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my parents didn't really show me very many, like, Christian shows or anything, even though they claim to be religious. Yeah, if people don't watch Christian shows, they're going to hell. I read sense. that in the Bible one time. Really? And yeah. the Quran. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I believe in both on the off chance one of them is right. Do you have any ideas here by any chance? Well, I would have said swing from that thing, but you can't. And then there's that that uh, arrow thing. You can't press a button when you hit that. Do you think maybe I'm jumping too soon or something? Well, no. What's up, what's up with that thing pointing an arrow to the right? It looks like a button there. I don't know. Maybe I could try pressing B on it. Have you not been trying? No, I didn't know that was a Oh, button. yeah, that, that was my idea. Oh, well, thank so, you. So just so that everybody knows. The ge genius what was that? J. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. Oh, go, 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 go. See, I did it in one try. You guys suck. Stop being mean you to me. You guys are so bad. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, you I wouldn't would, have? No, I wouldn't you have wouldn't done, have done that. that. I would not have done you that. You wouldn't have done that. No, but look, we got a checkpoint thanks to yours truly. Oh, well, no. Nope, we no, can't do that. No, that's kind of douchey. Me? No, the light. That it just, like, lights up like that. Especially when I am a young child. What the heck? Well, stop yelling, sorry. first off. Sorry, baby, sorry. sorry. Secondly, when you go up there, why don't you just not press it? Because just the saw is coming. Just jump. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. I did it. Nice. Go, 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 go. Jump! Oh, no, I said jump! I tried to, I tried to, I pressed the jump button. I pressed it, Bobby. I don't believe you. I pressed it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, go, go now, go now. It's too late, too late, too late. Too late. The kid sat down. You know oh, what? Oh, well, he's done. I would too, to be honest. I don't understand, if this is the afterlife, is it just like an, um, uh, do you call the word amalgamation? Is that what you call it? Um, like when you, when things are combined? I think it is, yeah. So is this just kind of like an amalgamation or like combination greatest hits of everything this kid has ever seen in his life? Or is there like a freaking hotel in the afterlife for no reason? I think there's a freaking hotel in the afterlife for no reason. Like that's what I don't get. I don't, ever, I don't get it either. Have you ever heard the thing that like people say hell is just like a... You're doing it at the wrong time. I know, I'm sorry. When people say that hell is just a hotel room with like just the cooking channel what the heck for all of eternity or like just one channel infomercials and that's all you get for all of eternity that would suck oh i, I was like one pixel away look, look he's good he's still moving i like that he did like a break dance there for me that was hot i mean uh this uh, is a uh uh i mean uh that was uh you're jumping at the wrong time you're doing it way too fucking late do you want to try yes sure thank you like, DJ about to save no the time? day! Did you say DJ about to save the gays? The day. I pressed it. You gotta press B on the, I did. the light. I did, actually. You gotta press B. Yeah, I did. Did you try pressing B? I'm not gonna do it again if you keep shitting on me. Oh, B you have to is press for up. boobs. Hmm. What? I've hmm. tried twice. You tried like 30 times. Hmm. And you're stupid and you're short. Hey! What? Is that because I'm, I'm five feet? Barely. I like how... Oh. I was not on the ground there. So if you're on that part, even if you're in the air, I think it still hits you. It sucks. I like how the guy at the bike shop the other day, because we bought a bike for me, I like how he was like, Oh no, that pink bike is too small for you. Why don't we try this bike? And I tried that bike and it was too tall for me, and he was like, Oh... Well, why don't you try the pink bike after all? And I, it fit. <laughs> I think he just thought that you were taller than, like, I think he thought you were a normal person. <laughs> From far away, you think he thought I was a normal person at first? Well, yeah, because he's an old man, so you have to think, like, maybe he thought, like, oh, she's not that short. Not that short. Like, he probably thought, my old bones are making me shorter than she is, or mm -hmm. something. Mm-hmm. I like that his wife said she used to be 5'7", now she's only 5'1". Like, how do you lose that many inches? I don't know, but you should talk about where you admitted that you find old men hot. Oh, yeah, he was kind of hot. Really? Yeah, I like old men. 
Okay, <laughs> I have no problem with that. Oh, oh, okay, so you have to you have to jump down into the thing. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. You know, I, what I like about old men is, like, they're just very set in their ways, you know, like they... You like stubborn people? No, they, I mean, what I'm trying to say is I like that they, like, a lot of times like to make things or just do things and that they're just sweet old guys just going about their business, you know, and they're usually just real nice and they bring flowers home to the wives and they've got, like, white chest hair and a, a belly that's a little bit round and I just think it's cute. If you miss that jump, you lose because there's not enough time. That sucks, I'm sorry. That's okay. You sound de like a lot like Elsa Jean. I am Elsa Jean. She likes to destroy old men. Well, I want old men to destroy me is the difference. Fair enough. We're learning a lot of new things about you these weeks. I'm a big fan of old men. But I don't like ugly old men. They have to be like nice old men, you know? Wait, so nice makes you attractive? Yeah. How? Well, haven't you ever met a nice person who like maybe wasn't like the best good looking person ever? But then you got to know them, and you were like, huh, this person's really good looking. No. Oh, I've done that before. You're either good looking or you're not. Oh, that makes sense. Uh. I mean, sometimes we've met people who are pretty good looking, then they had the personality of, like, a horse's poop. Yeah, but I've always said, like, that's the kind of person you'd take home for a night, not for, uh, uh, you know. Not for marriage, yeah. Not for marriage. Wow, DJ. What? You're playing kind of bad lay. I don't like puzzle games. This isn't even a puzzle. This is just platforming right now. We solved it. We just need you to do it. <laughs> well, to see if I can scoop my butt on it. That is really funny. No, I think you definitely got to press that button. I know, but like when I... the My problem is when I get bored of these games, I just start fucking around. That makes sense. That's okay. We like fucking around, I mean. Not enough, apparently. What do you mean? What? I think you have to like really pixel jump that. Oh, you did it! You did it! You did it! You did it! Oh yeah, yeah, you did it! Yeah, yeah, you did it! Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, what is this? Oh, I see light. Is there any noise? I'm not listening to the game. Uh, it's kind of going. Whoa! What's it doing? Like that? That's like the music. It's like. One more time, please. Wait, it auto shut off. It's a on a timer. It is. Yeah. You didn't tell me that. I, I didn't asked know. if there was noise. I didn't know it was on a timer until it happened. You're a horrible. Look, wife. see that bar down there? You know, that's how you can tell it's on a timer. But I was busy doing music for you. Well, what am I supposed to do? Be faster. Yeah, but there's nowhere to go. Um, did you consider calling Elsa Jean up for help? I'd love to. I also like to call her up for help. Alright, I don't, I don't really know what to do here. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. Ooh. You can that try hurt. this one. Well, I'll certainly try. I've not got any ideas right now, so I'm kind of going to mess around a bit. So if you'd like to tell us about your woes and your traumas, that would be fantastic. I'm good. I'm good, actually. Oh, okay. I don't really have anything I want to talk about today. That makes sense. So you're just not into talking anymore? Yeah, I'm not going to talk about, um... Uh, I'm not going to talk about anything during this Let's Play. I figured, like, we've hit the point... Where people don't watch it as much, so I don't need to try anymore. That's not true. What? You don't need to be like that. What? Why are you being a Kravis McDavis? What? <laughs> I'm just joking. Hey, huh. well, wait that's not a it. minute. Wait a minute. I think, I, think I, I found, found a, a puzzle in with the my wall. buttholes, but mansions. Oh, sorry. What the heck? What? Hey! No! You could have pulled that out! You idiot! <laughs> you loser! I hate you! <laughs> I'm so angry right now. Are I... you Are you so angry that you're going to have sex with my grandpa? Oh my gosh. Well, you'd like that. Yeah, I'd be super into that, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I just, I lost my temper. For no problem, I was having an attack. <laughs> what kind of, oh. I just had an attack, too, apparently. Yeah, no kidding. 
Did you see the people were like, um, did you see the people were like, recast Chris Pratt again? And like, James Gunn was like, no, fuck you. As what, as Mario? No, 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 they just, <laughs> they don't want Chris Pratt to play uh, Star-Lord because they're a little bitch, like a little whiny bitch who thinks he goes to some church that's mean about where you put your pee pee. I whatever. thought James Gunn defended him. He did, yeah, but I just think it's funny. Also, imagine being like fucking, uh threatened by chris pratt's church i know right so first of all i feel like unless he's going to scientology or something or like a terrorist group you shouldn't care no i i would prefer that that makes sense you know what's hilarious to me by the way can i just say something just yeah. point blank where is all of this outrage for actors who i'm gonna be serious here i'm being really serious go to an islamic church because almost every mosque is against same-sex marriage uh -huh. and any kind of LGBTQ love. Well, they're a, they're a, they're a protected group. You see, the religion is a protected group in general. It doesn't no, it doesn't no. matter what. That's why Scientology made it in. No, the difference is uh, Chris Pratt is a white straight cis male, so we're allowed to pick on him as much as we want. Right, but I would say the same thing if he was a white straight cis male who went to a mosque. That's true. If his mosque is against same-sex marriage. I can very easily do this. Well, really everybody's quick. like okay with Tom Cruise being in Scientology and like outcasting all of his like wives and his children and stuff. No, first, it's worth saying that I have nothing against um, against actors. I have everything against Scientologists. Well, I think that religion's absolutely a piece of shit. And okay, like well, somehow hold on, people allegedly. are still somehow people are still like okay with things like. Like that, and like, oh, Tom Cruise still gets parts and stuff, but Chris Pratt going to a church that nobody even knows is bad at all. They're like, ah, oh, well, he can't be Star-Lord anymore. Like, who's going to be Star-Lord now? You have to move it further away. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this. I'm trying story. my best. Move it further away. Well, um, like, who's going to be Star-Lord now? Right. No one, because they're going to be done with the movies. Oh, so, like, okay. if people don't like it, they can suck a dick, I guess. Well, I'm just kind of wondering about it, because, like, I looked up on, no, to be fair, it's the internet. But I looked this up, and there's a list of, like, 30 actors in Hollywood who are Islamic. But you never hear about that, right? And now, if you're Islamic, I don't really care. Good for you. Have fun. You know? Worship Allah. Mm -hmm. Enjoy Islam. It doesn't matter to me. Mm -hmm. That's your belief system. That's cool. My point is, I would never advocate for you not to have a job just because your belief system has a history of being against LGBTQ stuff. Yeah. But people do that with, like, Chris Pratt because of his... Oh, oh, that's an Easter egg. That gives it a trophy. I will get that. Um, people do that for him because of his church, even though James Gunn said that he doesn't go to that church. Uh-huh. Even if he did, I would say the same thing. Like, who cares? That That's my point that I'm getting at. Like, unless, unless you're part of, like, a religion that's, like, actively trying to... Good job, by the way. Thank you. Unless you're part of a religion that's, like, exploiting children and doing all kinds of other stuff at your specific church, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying every church, because you could you could go through... There's probably a list of a hundred Hollywood actors who go to some church. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> that doesn't mean they agree with Westboro Baptist, you know, the church that's like death to the F.A. other letter that stands for gay people. Is that what they're trying to say, like Chris Pratt is into or something? That he's like anti-gay because of his church. And is, I, is he going to, like, that Baptist church? Or no, something? no, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, people people keep saying this about him. They don't even know what church he goes to. They thought he went to Hillsong, and um, James Gunn said, no, he doesn't go to Hillsong. Mm -hmm. And Hillsong has some history of, like, saying anti-gay stuff, apparently. Um, I don't... Would I don't, you like to try? I don't know how to Pretty do Pretty much this. you have to push the box all the way to the edge within the time limit, and... Um, try to get over it and get over that saw. Also, I apologize for getting annoyed. I just wanted to be able to say what I was thinking before I forgot it. No, that's and okay. you interrupted me so many times I didn't even remember what we were talking about. Sorry. Sorry. So my point... Okay. My point was just you could go through a lot of these, and there are other religions too. Mm -hmm. Judaism? Mm -hmm. Historically, way more against gay people than Christianity. Mm -hmm. Christianity at least has like room for interpretation where a lot of people just ignore the biblical verses that often say things like marriage between man and woman and stuff. Yeah, because, because people they... say like, well, free will and I'm not God, I shouldn't judge people and mm -hmm. for all I know that was a rule based around 
STDs or whatever, because, like, back in the day when those rules were made, if you were two men having sex, like, STDs were much more rampant and hard to protect against. Yeah. Um, and but they now, were... Now that they're easier to protect against, it kind of seems like God would be okay with it, in my opinion. Well, right, that's the thing, is it comes down to what you believe, right? Yeah. It, and at the end of the day, you really shouldn't push those beliefs off on people, yeah. no matter what you think. Mm -hmm. But my point is, you have all kinds of religions and religious actors who are part of religions that do push their beliefs off on people. And I would argue that um, <clears throat> my, and this is my opinion, my personal opinion on something like Scientology, and I don't want to get way into it because they're like super like lawsuit happy with everybody. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, you shouldn't be suing everybody if you are... If you are sure of yourself morally, mm -hmm. unless they're defaming you. Yeah. Um, I just don't like them. That's all I got to say on it. But my my point about it is there's tons of allegations against Scientology. Mm -hmm. Tons and tons and tons and tons against, mul like, everything under the sun, Scientology has been accused of it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the people involved in Scientology have been accused of it, too. And so what I'm getting at is when you have, like, a, a, nice. a group like that, but people who are involved in that are getting insane amounts of roles but then you have some, machine gun something kelly yeah. then you have something like islam mm -hmm. and no one cares when someone's involved in that to me it's just kind of one of those things where it's like well where where is the line here like what do you well yeah and like here's the thing it's also kind of illegal to keep him from having a job just because of his religious views well yes in america but... at least Nobody, nobody's keeping him from having a job. They're just campaigning for him not to have one. Well, they, like, fired him from Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 they didn't. They oh. didn't. People oh. wanted him oh, fired. Okay. That makes sense. So they're not making another Guardians of the Galaxy movie now? Uh, I don't know. This is why we listen, by the way. Oh, no. I was just wondering, because, like, I thought a lot of people were really excited for, like, a Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Thor possibly being a part of that. He is going to be a part of it. But James Gunn said that, um... They're, they don't have an interest in Guardians 4, basically. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if they're doing Guardians 4, or if they will just do it with the characters who are left. Jump, and, jump, jump. And, um... I don't know if they'll just do it with the characters who are left, or what they'll do with oh. Guardians, because uh, James Gunn basically said that he doesn't want to make Guardians 4. Mm -hmm. and, well, they'd have to use another director then, I guess. So I think what you're going to have to do is you're going to want to... Okay, yeah, you're going to get killed by the machine gun here. When the gravity's about to go up, you want to be able to get, like, underneath that ledge so you can walk across it. Right, but I have to get down first. And the problem is I don't know where to... Oh, jeez. I think you need to keep standing on that ledge, and then when the gravity goes up, you need to kind of, like, turn around, sort of. But you can't move while the gravity's going down. Do you want to try? See what I mean? Because when you're moving and the gravity goes down, it stops your trajectory. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Are you saying hang from it? I'm saying stand right here. Okay. And then, like, right before it goes down, like, when you have a feeling it's going to go down, you want to try and go, like, underneath it. Right. Like, one, two, three. Ah! Kind of like that, but you want to get underneath it first. <laughs> 